Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to download resource packs on Minecraft and mod packs slash mods. So before the video starts, make sure you like, comment and subscribe because that will help me out a lot. Also, make sure you comment what mods if, if you're struggling. Get to make sure you comment what mods or resource packs you want me to show you how to download. And well, let's start out the video by basically teaching you how to download any mod. So let's say you want to download, um, I don't know, like literally any mod. Let's just search up Minecraft mod. Let's just search up Minecraft mods. Let's let's go to Kurt's Forge. Let's search up Minecraft mods, and I mean I have like just enough items. I have mouse tweaks, journey map. Actually, journey map is a really cool mod. Let's let's look up at journey map. Now, this is mod Forge, which downloads you like the actual like files. And there's a bunch of like uh, versions, right? There's a bunch of versions, right? So let's say you want to run Minecraft 1.17, right? Journey map. So what I'll do, I'll just click on download file, right? I'll download file, I'm going to download, I'm going to download the jar file. So what then I do is I open up my transfer, my transfers, I Grab this, right? I'll put it in my uh, desktop. I'll do Windows R. I'll open percent app data percent. Then I'll go to point Minecraft dot Minecraft. I mean, then I'll go to mods. Then I'll drag journey map all the way down here to mod. I can actually close transfers. Then I have journey map on my mods file, right? And you can see it's a 1.70.1 mod. So I can open up my Minecraft launcher really quickly. And now you need to have Forge installed. Now notice, you need to have Forge. Now in order for this run, uh, mod to run, you actually need to have... Uh, what's it called? You need to have Forge installed. So you go to Minecraft Forge, right? You go to Minecraft Forge. Then you look, download Minecraft Forge for like the version, right? Then you go to 1.17 and you go to 1.70.1. And then you see like the latest one, right? They recommend the latest. Now you just go to installer. You wait a bit. Going to like out focus. Like I think you kind of just wait, right? You wait. You click there on skip, and it's downloading for. Just wait a bit. This is how to actually run the mod, by the way. You need to install Forge, and you need to install the mod itself. Then you open up the Forge, Forge file. To open, it's going to ask you to install it, right? So what you do is it's going to automatically, like. Download it, you install client, right? A server is like if you want to run a server on 1.17.1 with mods. Since I'm going single player, I'll just call client, then I'll press OK. Right, going to build up the, the forge thing. Might take a while, yeah. I'll actually close Minecraft launcher really quickly because you actually need to reboot Minecraft and you need to run forge once so that the mods actually load up. Okay, so it's installed the the forge, the forge thing, right? I can close this, then I can open up Minecraft Launcher again. Okay, then I'll just go to installations, right? I'll click on new one, then I'll look up for the forge file I just downloaded, which is always at the bottom. Now, where is it though? My blind. Yeah, it's here. See, it, it, it actually wasn't at the bottom, it was at the top. So I'll go release forge, then I'll just put, I don't know, like video or whatever. I'll just go to more options. Change the RAM for all of my PC's RAM, which is my PC has 16 gigs of RAM. You, if your PC has 8, you put 4. If you have 32, you put 16, right? Whatever. Just create. Uh, whatever. I'll just put a random thing. Create. Then I'll just go on the thing I just created. Then I'll play. Play it. Right? It's going to load. I don't think it's going to... Uh, from the start, it's not going to load up the mod. I'm pretty sure it first needs to install. Then... After it's launched, you can actually like run the mods there. Now, while we're at it, I'll actually just look for Minecraft uh, 1.17 uh, like dot one uh, mod uh, resource packs, extra packs, resource packs. See, I'll just look around for any random shit. Oh, these all look like dog shit, right? These all look really, really shit. I mean, I'll grab this, I guess. Now, when I go to see three mods loaded, now I can just go to single player, create world. And I'll just, I don't know, like spam my keyboard, create new world. It'll take a while, obviously, because it's loading up the world for the first time on this version, because I've never really played Minecraft 1.17. Now, as you can see, journey map is loaded at the top right, uh, top left. See, you can actually see the entire journey map thing. See, really cool. This is how we install mods now. Really cool. I'll just delete the world so it's not like 
sitting there doing nothing. Okay, now I'll quit the game because I'll need to download the resource pack now, right? Now, uh, let's uh, resource pack. Where is it? So I download. Not require Optifine to be pre installed, so make sure you install it. Yeah, whatever. Now, this this depends. Like, uh, if you need an Optifine, it will tell you. Now, I'm not going to read through any of this. I'll just click Optifine. Actually, I think it needs Optifine. I mean, if you want to download the resource pack, you kind of need Optifine. So I'll grab it really quickly as well if this doesn't work so let's just download the 1.17 dot this is kind of big though so yeah while we're at it i'll just optifine 1.17.1 right and download well this this is downloading just show all versions then i'll uh yeah i'll just download this but yeah i'll just download optifine to make sure that this isn't like yeah uh, then i'll just download this as well Going to download both at the same time now this is something you need to keep your optifines like on a, a separated folder and i'm going to explain why so i kind of just uh drag this here my optifines folder and then i can just right uh, double click it and then i'll install it over this one because it always erases your last optifine uh file that you have right it create a new one it's successfully installed but since i'm running forge i can actually like do something but then you can actually just control uh, Windows R uh, app data percent. Go to dot Minecraft, right? And place it in the mods folder, so it actually loads up on the. And now, that, now that this is downloaded, I'll just open this up, right? Go to my transfers folders. Really quickly, I need to close all of this. I'll just go to my transfers again. Go to this, and then I'll. Windows R, app data percent, then I'll go to .minecraft, then I'll drag this all the way down to resource packs. Now what I'll do is I'll just open Minecraft Launcher, okay? Just open up Minecraft Launcher really quickly. Then I'll go to the, the video thing I created with the Forge, then I'll just go to play, then I'll just press play. I'm going to let it load up again. I'm pretty sure these are shaders, right? I'm not sure. I think these are shaders, so they are a bit heavy. Okay, it's loaded. If it says uh, four mods, then that means it's running Optifine as well. If not, then yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's, it should, yeah, I'm pretty sure it has Optifine though. Yeah, see, Optifine required, but I'm pretty sure that sure this will run regardless because I have Optifine installed. It done single player then i'll just create a new world i'll go to options video settings c since it has other that means optifine is loaded up because i can press c and it zooms c i can press c and it zooms so this means optifine is loaded then i go to resource packs click on the or to other I, I i'll just remove the the programmer art so it doesn't overlap right then i'll just click done the, the resource pack is working because this changed color, obviously. It's loading, right? Take a while to load. Okay, cool. The resource pack is loaded. Okay, really cool. Now I have journey map. See, journey map with a resource pack at the same time. Now you can obviously put as many mods as you want, as long as they are for the compatible version. Make sure you download Optifine and shit. It actually works. That's how you download resource packs and mod packs. On minecraft and actually make them work now this tutorial is straightforward i mean pretty simple right so hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you like comment and subscribe and see you next time bye bye <laughs>